Hi guys, it's nap time, and so I thought I'd just show you what I've been working on. Um, I'm getting ready for the second half of our school year, even though it's really not the second half. We're only three months in, but for some reason, just Christmas feels like halfway through. So I'll show you what I'm doing. This is my setup. Um, I'm watching YouTube, <laughs> and I'm watching a video from Faithfully Homemade about organizing school supplies, and I thought, I might as well just jump on and show you what I'm working on. Um, I've been cutting scissors and this. I'm making these, um, they're called graded geometrical figures. They're for Montessori. So there's 10 of them and they range from 10 centimeter square down to one centimeter square. Um, so you have those in all different. You're supposed to have blue, red, and yellow. So I'm just using pink because that's the colored paper I had. But um, you have a set of squares in every shape or in every color, a set of circles in every color, and a set of triangles in every color. So I'm cutting those out. Um, I have these ones left to do circles. And then I'm also doing the uh, constructive triangles, they're called. So these ones are like early geometry. So you'll cut them here. And then um, they learn to put the black lines together. So this is box one, it goes all through uh, box two. Um, they don't have the lines, the darker lines, to show you where to put them. Box three, four, five, and then I think I already cut out, these are called the, um, well these are the blue ones, and these are all the same and they can like make shapes with them and learn how two of these can make a rectangle or you can use them to make a square. Um, so that's beginning geometry. If you saw my Facebook post, I've been um, trying to decide what to do for math, and I think I've decided to stick with Montessori, um, like we've been doing. You've seen some of my videos for Montessori math. I think we're going to stick with that for the six to nine um, age group, and then maybe add in some other things. Another thing I did was these. Um, these are the leaf cabinet cards. Um, they're supposed to be a like cabinet, they call it, with trays of these shapes, and they would be like a puzzle piece with a peg and you would move them. Um, but I am not gonna buy the cabinet, but I did print the cards. So these are the names of each shape of leaf. And then, so these are three part cards. So that's the first part. And then the other part, they would take this part of the card and match it with the label part and they could set them you know set the other under here to match them up um, so it's good now that my oldest can read um, these are really nice and they could do it he could do it before but um, it'll be good like to expand his vocabulary now in this way so kind of that um, I also have a decanomial square to make, which I don't have out yet. Um, that's something that it would start out with pieces like this. Um, so you'd have squares, and then you would set them this way, and then you'd have other pieces to fill in around it. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'd have rectangular pieces to fill in, and we'd end up with a square. So that's something that I have to do, but I think I'm going to make that one out of craft foam. So I'll post about that another day. So that's what I'm working on today, getting ready for the new school year. I would love to hear what you're working on to get ready.